One of the best things about university in general, I think, is the fact that you have time and that you are an independent learner. So you are able to allocate your time according to what you are passionate about, but also what your long-term objectives are. And I gotta tell you, the extracurricular scene here is massive. The fact that there is so much to do, there is something for everyone. Whether you're a professional debater, want to get into theater, are interested in uh, finance and uh, career oriented societies, there is something for everyone. There is so much to do in your spare time at Homerton. Um, personally, I've been on the May Ball Committee and I've worked with the Drama Society, but mostly in my spare time, I will just hang out with my friends in college. We got a new college bar recently, which is great. Um, I go to a lot of formals, they're like often themed, which is super fun. Um, bops, which are big parties in college. They'll never be bored at Homerton, basically. So personally, in my two years so far, uh, I've, I've taken part in my fair share of sports. At college level, at Homerton, I've played in the men's second team. A lot of fun, casual Saturday football, uh, which has been great. In addition, I've also taken part uh, actively in the Economic Society. The Marshall Society is the Economic Society here at Cambridge, and I took on the role of Speakers Officer. And that was one of the best experiences, again, for me here at Cambridge, because I was able to organize events with high profile speakers, and then afterwards even invite them out to dinner at formals, uh, and actually spend time talking to them and building relationships. I also volunteer at, at a museum called the Museum of Zoology. I know I study economics, but in all honesty, I really like dinosaurs and animals. And so for me, having some time every two or three weeks to just volunteer at the local museum is what I enjoy doing. And I've also been a part of the tennis sort of team for Homerton, which is incredible to sort of cool off. You have, you know, weekly training, which is uh, always great fun. And society that's played an enormous role in my experience at Cambridge. It has to be India SOC. I think they're incredible cultural societies that really allow you to network and mingle with uh, students that come from, let's say, your country if you're an international student or just generally, you know, might share your interests. The advice I was given when I started was to always do some, at least one thing that doesn't matter at Cambridge. And so for me, that was getting involved in lots of sports societies, despite having never really been involved in them at school. Um, in particular, I started learning how to row, which is like, the classic Cambridge thing. It's the classic Cambridge thing because lots of people try it out. It's very easy to get into it and it's a nice environment of lots of people trying a new thing that they're not very good at. It's something I look back on as one of the best things I've done. And I think that's the main point about the advice of do something that doesn't matter because when you look back, you're not going to remember your days in the library. You're going to remember kind of doing something stupid as part of the society or kind of going out, going on a night out with stupid stories and having fun.